These Democrat policy proposals may go by different names. They have all these wonderful names, like... <laughs> It'll never end. I'm sorry I smiled. They'll have me. The fake news is back there. Look at all. They'll say it's terrible. It's terrible. The president smiled. You know, they want me to admonish you. Who, who, uh, who said that? Lock her up. Stand up, please. I'm admonishing you. Never, ever say that again. That's okay. Sit down. He's admonished. So now they can't do their fake number on us. Thank you. Do nothing Dems. They can't even affect it very much. We've created over 6 million new jobs since the election. The unemployment rate has reached a 51-year low. Two point, think of that. Think of that. And soon it's going to be a historic number, like so many of the other numbers. 2.5 million people have been lifted out of poverty. That means more Americans that now have, and that's what it's all about. They have a great way of life. They have affordable health care options. And millions of seniors are enjoying better, healthier, and more prosperous retirements. I should be retiring with you. I should be in this audience clapping. But I didn't trust anybody to be standing here because I know what you have. <laughs> Open borders. So the people can just come in and do whatever they want to do. And they have no idea who's coming in, by the way. They have no idea. But you know, in these countries, and now we're getting along great with the countries, Mexico gave us 27,000 soldiers guarding our border, and the numbers are way down. 27,000. I want to thank Mexico, government, the president. Congressional Democrats' extreme agenda would destroy our booming economy very quickly. One of the most disturbing proposals from left-wing politicians involves draining your health care to finance the open borders that we just discussed. That's how they want to finance it. Leading Democrats have pledged to give free health care to illegal immigrants. They put foreign citizens who break our laws and endanger our country, they put them way ahead of American citizens like you who obey our laws. I will never allow these politicians to steal your health care and give it away to illegal aliens. Rolls Royce, come on in. Come on in. You know, to show you how corrupt CNN is, when I use that expression, they said, the president wasn't telling the truth. He said they get a Rolls Royce, and they don't. Ah, <laughs> oh, they don't get it, do they? They never got it. Some idiot at CNN said, you can't win without CNN. I guess we showed them. I guess we shall them. And their ratings are so low now that they are no longer the big difference at all. They have really bad ratings. But you know what is bad for our country? When CNN, so often I go to a foreign country, I go to a country, I meet leaders, and he said, uh, why do they hate your country so much? I said, who? You know, CNN outside of the United States is much more important than it is in the United States. And a lot of what you see here is broadcast throughout the world. And we used to have radio for Europe, like, I think, radio for Europe and Voice of America. And we did that to build up our country. Uh, and that's not working out too well. But CNN is a voice that really seems to be the voice out there. And it's a terrible thing for our country. And we ought to start our own network and put some real news out there, because they are so bad. They are so bad for our country. They are so bad for our country. I go out there and they say, boy, the media hates your country. And it's just a shame. It's just a shame. And we really are. We are looking at that. We should do something about it, too. Put some really talented people and get a real voice out there, not a voice that's fake. When Americans are struck by natural disaster,